Yo, hello guys and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial guys, I will be showing you how to install WordPress in Hostinger. So, there is multiple ways guys to actually have the access to WordPress using Hostinger. And that's what I'm going to show in this video. First of all, go to your browser, go to the URL and search for Hostinger, open a new tab and then search for WordPress, as you can see here. Now, so simply this is my account in WordPress. Now what I'm going to do is go to Hostinger and then of course you must guys get a domain from Hostinger. So here we go, domain name, search and here you can get whatever domain you want and pick .com online, whatever pack you'd like and search and then buy it. So I will just log into my account that I have already bought my domain name in it. So here it is. And simply now what I'm going to do is as you can see, this is my domain name. So there is actually two ways. The first way which is by going to hosting and from here going to this business web hosting and from here as you can see they will give you WordPress stacking tool. So from here you can use WordPress. So as you can see it will cost you only three or four dollars per month. Now if you went to the other side so this will like cost you four dollars. Now if you wanted to try it with another way, like without using the hosting plan, you can go directly to your WordPress account and then from there go to my site, go to upgrade and from here guys, I suggest you to go all the way down so I already own a domain name. So you use it as your site's address, so here you go and here you only need to paste it, click on continue and of course you must have removed this one from here so as you can see here let's go all the way down just for lock so this as you can see um, you can just unlock it so just turn it off and you will be able to like transfer your website from a hostinger to here and it will be connected so you can choose whatever thing you like transfer your domain like from here to here or connect your domain directly so you can choose whatever you'd like from this so yeah that's basically it that's how you can connect your domain name with wordpress so thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial